Good morning, welcome to News Superfast with me, Hari Shupadia. First up in yet another rape shocker, a minor from Yadgir was molested by a youth of the same region. The minor who went to work at the fields was dragged by one Devu Rathod into it. The monster tried to sexually molest the minor, but when she resisted him, he assaulted her. The minor has suffered grave injuries and has been admitted to district hospital. It is learned that this pervert had tried to rape the girl on several occasions earlier as well. Yet another rape shocker. We have seen several incidents not just in Bengaluru but across the state in rural areas as well. And this time it's from Yadgir. And this man looks to be someone who knew this victim very well. He's from the same region. The miner had gone to work at the fields and that's when this accused Devu Rato dragged her into the bushes and allegedly committed this crime. She was also assaulted when she resisted rape. Now she has been admitted to a nearby hospital with grave injuries. And this is not the first time that this man has attempted rape. It is being learned that this man had talked and tried to rape this lady earlier as well. Questions are now raised on the kind of protection the police had taken. Was the family aware of this incident? Was the family aware that this man has been trying to attack this girl several times earlier as well? Were the police informed? Well, these are some of the questions that will have to be answered in the coming days. Yet another rape attempt in this state, this time on a minor in Yadgir. Moving on, she hails from a poor family. Her parents don't even have the money to get her education. So she used to accompany her parents to the fields, but now she's in such a state that you will cry at her plight. This is the story of a girl whose life has been made hellish by a bullish man, a teen whose life has been destroyed by bees. Here's a report. A look at this teen will only leave you in tears. All of 13, this little girl has had to face the worst ordeal any girl can face. Well, by this time, you would have got it. It is indeed rape. To be precise, gang rape. It was the 2nd of January. The whole of Gulbarga had ushered in the new year. This teen, like any other girl of age, had a lot of dreams and aspirations to realize. But little did this child know that she was in for a big disaster. Courtesy, six men who had a plan to gang rape her. Yes, in the wee hours of that day, when the whole of Gulbarga was asleep, six men barged into the house. And even before this girl could open her eyes from a deep sleep to understand things, these six men, rather to put it in apt terms, these beasts shoved a piece of cloth into her mouth. Rudely awoken by the collective assault on her, this 13-year-old girl wanted to scream her lungs out in an effort to save herself. But how could she? Her mouth was full of cloth and she could do nothing but undergo the torture. But she did resist. But her resistance was not strong enough to shoo away these beasts. In one corner of her house, these six demons gang raped her. Well, the impact of the collective assault was so horrific that the girl fell unconscious. It was only in the morning when her mother saw her that she realized something was wrong. Immediately, the girl was shifted to the primary health center in Nimbarka. But what makes anyone seethe with anger is the way the police treated her. 
When the parents approached the Nimbarga police to lodge a complaint, they refused to file the complaint of gang rape, but insisted they would file just an assault case. After this, the girl was brought to Gulbarga. There she was admitted to the Paspeshwara hospital. And this girl was in a state of semi-conscious for almost two months. Now that the girl has regained consciousness and is in a state to walk and is in a state to talk, the parents have approached the SP Amit Singh. But the parents allege that they are receiving death threats. Rape case Malaka Arm Jana Bandir Sara. Namanegar sir. Na managilri. Natarda Gidri. Baratana Hudgi Hudu Pura Sato Kate Hobitra or Purari. Well, it is indeed a pathetic state. Day by day, the number of rape incidents is only increasing. Well, the police do something. And to look at this girl walking with the help of her parents will only leave you disillusioned and dismayed. Sanjay Kulkarni for News 9, Gulbarga. Moving on, politicians have a gala time when, when they change their loyalties, but same is not the case with party workers. Here's how some man has been bothered and is in a very terrible condition. Take a look at this man breathing in pain. Just see how the woman is crying. These visuals bring tears to your eyes. But why on earth is he lying on the road in such a pathetic condition? Well, before we give you more details, let's introduce this man to you. Meet Kenchaya. For the last four years, he had been running a stationery shop on the national highway between Uti and Mysore. He was also a confidant of a Congress leader by name Nanjapa. He is also the former member of the Zilla Panchayat. But Kenchaya decided to change loyalties and side with the BJP the moment the Saffron Party won the general elections with a thumping majority. Well, it was precisely this shifting of loyalties that irked Nanjapa. For more than three decades, Nanjapa and Kenchaya had been very close to each other. But the moment Kenchaya defected to BJP, it was too much for Nanjapa to bear. So he decided to get his stationery shop vacated using cloud. He got a notice issued to him and in the presence of police and officials, tried his best to vacate him. But Kenchaya did not swerve even a bit. He challenged them saying his shop was like any other shop there. Infuriated at this attitude displayed by Kenchaya, Nanjapa's son Natesh carried out an attack. The impact was so barbaric that it had an effect on his genitals also. He fell unconscious. The villagers are gassed at what has happened because a wine shop nearby has not been vacated, but this shop has been vacated. Kinchaya has lodged a complaint against Nanjapa. Prithviraj Bhamanikere for News 9, Chamraj Nagar. Moving on, politicians love playing the blame game. They don't even worry even if it causes inconvenience to the public. Here's a story from Mandya that will shock you and amuse you as well. This brand new building that you see on your screen is the Halaguru police station. The construction of the building was finished almost six months back, but it still lies unoccupied. Wondering why? The local MLA Narendra Swami is to be held responsible for this. Residents of the area allege that the MLA is infuriated that he was not invited for the foundation stone laying ceremony and has hence refused to inaugurate the building. The cops are now forced to continue in their makeshift police station at the government high school. It is even being said that the MLA of the area, Narendra Swami, is an ardent follower of the chief minister. His wish is to get the new police station inaugurated by the chief minister. When asked about this to the Mandya SP, Bhushan Gulabra Borase, he assured that all was well and the building would be inaugurated in the next 15 days. It now remains to be seen if the police can keep their promise and cover up the political blame game 
Or will the local MLA yet again bring ego issues in picture and delay the inauguration? Ravi Lali Parlia for News 9, Mandia.